welcome back to some more World of Tanks. Uh, we're playing the T. Uh, we're playing the WZ120. I mean, it's a replay, but I was playing the WZ120. I'm actually grinding the WZ120 right now because you have five times XP for every win right now, and the, the one to one is in a 40% discount, which means it goes from 6.1 million down to 3.6. It's absolutely epic and I'm gonna buy it probably tomorrow. It's gonna be my first ever tier 10 tank, so I'm kinda excited. Anyway, what are we doing here? Well, I'm just planning on just quickly pushing this flank here. I feel like I can do that. I get spotted here. Luckily bounced the STG and I was hoping I won't get shot from the side. Turn my turret over there as well. Ooh, but I get hit by the gorilla for a big shot. I do a on the move hit on the bat chats. Easy. And what are we doing now? Well, I'm just planning to go on this position here to kind of outspot my enemies and to proxy spot, most importantly, the enemies on this part of the map. You know, right in front of me here that people normally camp at. And, you know. This is just what this tank is really good at. And you can see I'm proxy spotting that T28. And this T20 is just gonna get obliterated right now, I think. Oh wait, he's going up, he's getting shot from all sides. <laughs> and he's pretty much dead. Yep. Cool. 1150 spotting. We're already up to 2k spotting. And well, the thing is, this has no gun depression, right? So I'm really just trying to proxy spot people here. I notice that I get spotted, and I'm assuming it's from, you know, it's not from the back. I don't feel like someone could sneak up behind me. So I'm feeling, and my tanks are pushing as well. I'm feeling that I got spotted from where the object 430 is. Now I do a bit of a misplay. I kept staring at the TS5, even though I saw that he was shooting at me. Um, so I'm just kind of trying to bait him now, and I'm waiting for my, um, you know, viewports to repair, and I repair my fuel tank as well. Because I don't want to get set on fire, but I'm thinking, at this point, I thought, actually I might have wasted that, because pretty much anything that would hit me at this point would pretty much almost kill me, right? So I don't know if that was really a worth thing taking, and especially since I have a fire extinguisher. And now, oh yeah, I do a really cheeky move here. For a while, I don't want to. I didn't want to shoot this immediately because of the bad accuracy of the gun. Well, not bad. It's just not really good, right? And I was waiting for the object to go back, but he didn't. And now I was just kind of waiting here forever because I saw that our IS three, I think. Is it an I3? Yes, it's an I3 that was pushing. And I was thinking that probably these guys are probably going to reverse. And uh, they didn't. And I saw I saw that the Lynx was coming right now. And I line up the shot. And I goofed it. It was a little lag spike there. Uh, I mean, it wasn't when I was playing. But right now in the replay, it was a little lag spike. But yeah, I didn't quite make the shot. And now I was kind of confused where I should shoot. So I went around this corner to shoot the, the gorilla, but he just disappears. And I guess it was just... I was just kind of waiting here. We're up to, what, 3k combined? That's pretty good. And as you can see, no one really spotted the gorilla again. Uh, and by the way, I'm, I have three female crew members that I can put in any tank. Uh, and the one to one has four crew members, so I also want to grind or just use the contract things for the missions because I want to get four female crew members in the one to one. That would be pretty freaking sick, I think, because I don't actually have any other good crew. And for the current, you know, uh, special awards for uh, special awards for staying for playing the game for I don't know how many years you did, you got different awards. And I also have a like the best crew book you can possibly get for the whole crew. 
And I'm also gonna use that on the female crew members. I think it's gonna, I'm quickly, instantly gonna have like a two skill crew, which is gonna be sick. I think of shooting that GW Tiger P, but I don't quite do it. Now, I didn't wanna shoot here in case I get spotted, but that STG was just too meaty right there. I had to take the shot. There we go, and I reverse and because I thought I was gonna get spotted, but I didn't quite get spotted, so it's it's all good. Oh yeah, now it's gonna be something weird, like I'm trying to hit the IS-7 now, and I'm thinking, okay, like the building is clearly ending at that point where I can shoot him now. So it's probably that the wall, like the sand uh, bag wall is still there. So I decide to sh shoot through it, and I do, I shoot through it and hit the track. And now I see, okay, there's a pinnable spot, right? But I didn't, I don't hit the, I don't hit the, the lower plate of the IS-7. Uh, do I go for another shot? No, I don't, I don't have time. Now I just straight up wait and camp until the, <laughs> until the RT gets spotted. And is there insta-kill. Easy money. Easy round, very nice round for the WZ-120. And it's just really easy to grind through it at this point, because I also got for the whole reward thing for six years. I also got five days of premium time, so I'm having all the possible boosts for getting XP, and I can get like 6k XP on a round uh, because of the whole five times and my, my personal reserve and premium account and everything, right? And then the the applicable boost for XP also gives me, you know, uh, like times three or something, and you get like 10k per <laughs> round. It's kind of funny, uh, but yeah, I think uh, as soon as I get the one to one, I kind of try to get the hang of it. I know it's not the best medium tank really in the game, um, but I hope I'm gonna really like it, and I'm probably gonna do a review of it or something as well, because it does uh, differ a little bit from the WZ120. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, all that good stuff, and see you next time.